What is up? It's Fab, and today I'm going to be showing you another Sony Vegas tutorial. Um, this one's on 2D animation in transition, so like shape animation, as you probably saw in the preview. It does look pretty cool, and it's really easy. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So first off, obviously you're going to want your two clips. So mine just runs from one to the other, as you can see here. But yours is maybe I don't know going to be edited or something. So basically, once you've got your clips sorted and stuff, you're going to want to go to media generators and just drag on anything above. Make sure it's above your clip though, and you'll come up with this option. Just click the color, and you can change the color to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it to a light blue color. So you've got your color now, and to make that into a shape, just go to video effects cookie cutter and just drag on default and you see once you drag on default it makes it into a circle but you've got all these settings here you've got your shape you can change that to diamond just you know you've got loads of options here but we're just going to stick to circle for now you've got your feather you've got loads of options you can mess around with to make the effect cool but I'm just going to be showing a simple one so basically what you want to do is go to your timeline and you want to get your um, clip of your get sorry get the color with the shape about a second before the clip splits so you see it comes up and it splits there and it's all up to you depending on how fast you want this transition to be or how slow that depends on how far you put it from the split so basically now what we're going to do is at the start make sure your size is on zero and then just click animate button for size and we're going to go ahead about about 10 keyframes put the size up so it's bigger than so that it's going out of the screen and we're just going to do a little animation here it's not just going to go from small to big it's going to have a bit of style in it so it's going to go from big and then we're going to go ahead about about seven or eight keyframes and put that back a bit smaller so now what happens is it goes comes out goes big back to small and now we're just going to go onto the timeline Oh yeah, sorry. Just drag it ahead to as much as you want it to go back to, you know, the the further you drag this key from out, the slower it's going to go, smaller, the, you know, the shorter, the faster. So now we're just going to click on the timeline to where it splits to the next clip here, and then we're just going to drag the size up so that it fills the whole screen. So now I'll show you what's happened so far. So what's happening so far is it's coming out like this, it's coming out getting big, smaller, filling the screen and now it's filled the screen and at the time it's filled the screen that's where it's split to the next clip so now you just want to go back into event effects and what I like to do is go ahead about two keyframes and just add another keyframe so that um, it just stays there for like a little bit instead of just going straight back so after you've added your keyframe just for the little break you're gonna want to go ahead about about a second after the clip splits and then all it is is just drag the size back down to zero and I'll preview this so this is what it looks like so far so circle comes in gets big small back big back to small and that's obviously a really simple animation you could change it up by using the other settings stuff like that so now just to make it a bit more lively what you could do is add some text so you just want to make sure that you add another video track above uh, your layer where you've got the tech where you've got the circle and you just want to right click above that click insert text media and here we're just gonna type next I can't be asked to change the 
to change the um, color and everything you can obviously do that so now you just want to drag this up to wherever you want it so obviously not right at the start we can animate it from the start so you just want to go into your keyframes on this on your text and drag it all the way out so that it's as small as it can be to here that's as small as it can be obviously and to just as you can see it's a bit out but just to add a fade in so you can see here it's fading and you just play around with the settings with the pan and crop until it's in the middle so there you can see it's in the middle and now you just want to go ahead keyframes until it reaches the point where it stops which is there and then you can just just go on the tab and click default if you can't get to these little squares and then just adjust the size so it's about in the middle so now you can see if you go ahead on the keyframes it's coming in line with this so it comes up that's obviously a bit hmm, make it a bit bigger like that and now go ahead the keyframes again until it reaches the smallest point which is right here and then make this smaller so that it fits in the middle and now go ahead again until it goes off the screen and make the text big so basically we're just like motion tracking it up so this is what it looks like so now go ahead two keyframes or go ahead until it starts coming off the screen like see where it's full there and just add one more keyframe and then go ahead again until it goes as small as it can be and then just drag this all the way out as far as it can go so like there and then all you got to do is drag the duration of this down and drag the duration of this down and just add a little fade onto it so now this is what happens clip comes in text so if it's a bit off all you want to do is just play around with the settings obviously this is a bit rough because it's the because it's just the tutorial so you just all it is is just play around with the settings I mean not the settings you know play around with the pan and crop until it looks good and you can make it look better by adding your own touch to it you know but it does look cool do it with different shapes do it with whatever and I couldn't find a tutorial on this and it's I know it's pretty easy but a lot of people would like to use it and I'm just showing you how to do it in Vegas so yeah thank you for watching this tutorial if it did help you then be sure to like and favorite the video and leave a comment thank you for watching I'll see you later